went crazy or do you think he was like mellowing out? No, I think he remember t- he had I, that case. I think he turned up extra, you know. I feel like I feel like when Von passed away, you know, rest in peace to Von. Obviously, Von and Dirk had that case, and that case all kind of fell onto Von. What's good, y'all? Trap Lord Ross comes to the wild world of clubhouse to talk to Wack about Chicago, the streets, his rise to fame, and people claiming he a culture vulture. Let's get to the content. And well, you know he got the all-white Muslim gear on now to get the key to the city. Is going on. Hey, you tell me, whack. Like, you know, what I'm saying, if you, if you, uh, if you, you cause a few, uh, few commotions in your city, and then you convert to Islam, does that mean you're going to be good? That, that's, that's what I was saying. But if you can, see, if you convert to Islam, you know, then it's saying you right is right now. Mm-hmm. But then again, I'm like, how long has he been converted, and has he showed that he's traveling that righteous path? To be fair, to be fair, I, I feel like since Dirk converted to Islam, he has been dissing less. Like, I feel like before the Islam, he was going crazy, dissing, smoking on duck, everyone should have ducked, all of this crazy stuff. I think since he converted to Islam, he's been lowering it down because he was getting very disrespectful with it, you know, whether it's duck or Kwondo or any of that stuff, man. So it was getting pretty serious. But. So after, after uh, King Von got he went crazy or do you think he was like mellowing out? No, I think he, he I, had that case. I think he turned up extra, you know. I feel like I feel like when Von passed away, you know, rest in peace to Von. Obviously, Von and Dirk had that case, and that case all kind of fell onto Von. You know, suddenly Dirk was completely scot free yeah. on that case, and I feel like he kind of turned up. You know, definitely turned up with pushing the violence and smoking dead people, and you know, what I'm saying claiming certain things, saying no on tracks. You know, it was it was a very disrespectful time, man. But I feel like he's matured beyond that at the moment with the with the Islam, and I respect it, but. Man, it'd be sad to see him catch a case, but it could still happen. That the Islam, unfortunately, isn't going to protect him if he if he has uh, unfortunately committed a crime and been caught up. You know. <clears throat> well, listen, man. I wish the best. I think uh, when he did the J Cole song, he started to, you know. <clears throat> and I think when he seen all these Rico indictments going on, he started to kind of like mellow out. Like maybe I need to take a different route to move to it. It was definitely coming. I definitely thought it was going to be a sweep and he was going to be involved in one of them. I, I thought so too, man. And I think the crazy thing is, you know, no disrespect to Dirk. Um, I, I, he's, he's lost a lot of very close friends and family to the streets over the years, which is very, very unfortunate. I can't imagine the pain that he's been through. Um, but, you know, in the past few years, I think he's, he's been unfortunately associated with a lot of uh, a lot of cases and situations that have been very high profile. And, uh, you know, the, the reality is that in a couple of situations, you know, the people that were essentially his connection to that case passed away. You know, I definitely wouldn't say that he had anything. Like, I think I think Chicago is just a very violent place. And, you know, a lot of people lose their lives very young. But, you know, if Dirk's brother Defang was alive, he, he was mentioned in the, the murder of FBG Duck case um, as having allegedly paid for Duck's location uh, before the murder. So, obviously, he, he's no longer with us, right? But, you know, the, the, the situation could have been different if he was still alive and then they could connect the situation to Dirk somehow. That, that possibly could have seen Dirk wrapped up into the actual FBG Duck murder case. But at the same time, clearly, if there was no evidence, he's not in the case. So clearly there was no evidence to associate him with the crime. <coughs> We're but seeing if... one just like that down in Memphis. Mm. With, with uh, you know, our boy's brother and, and his company. So the, what you just said, actually, it's a little, it's a little closer because I don't know to what involvement Dirk's brother was as far as when it come to his label. So we're seeing the same thing you just said going wrong with Big Juke down there. Mm. All right, y'all, there it is, man. Regards to Dirk converting. Now, changing face or adapting a new belief does not necessarily mean you'll be able to step away from everything, but it is a step in the right direction. Many in my city of Philly has done that. It's worked for some, not for others. But um, like I said, it is a positive step. I did see that some of the young folks that was in prison vowed to give up the life when they seen him make that step. He went to visit, had some kind words for him, let him know it wasn't worth it. So, And in regard to Trap Lord Ross, he puts out a great body of work. Some people think he's a culture vulture. I think he put too much time and effort in to be considered that and that we should not base it on his skin. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy Dance. Until next time, we out.